This is News You Can Use. Over the weekend, a prominent recording artist posted the picture we just shared on his social media. I'll share it again. How are you feeling right now? Well, the folks in the comments section of his Facebook feed certainly had something to say. There were threats to cancel the artist, people who claimed they were no longer fans, and some that even made spiritual claims to the artist's eternal destination. It was almost as if a whole lot of people are really stressed out and easily triggered. Maybe some of them, and some of us, should read the post again. It reads, I 100% support mandatory vacations for everyone. And if anyone refuses, then they should be forced to take a vacation. That's right. If you're like me, and evidently a lot of people online are, we misread the post as vaccination instead of vacation, thus underscoring the very point of the post. We all need a vacation. We're all on edge, ready to attack one another over the slightest perceived difference of opinion. There's a better way to live our lives. Last year, we coined a slogan at Supreme Lending. I am for everyone. I'm not for everything, but I'm still for everyone. We don't have to take every difference of perspective as a reason to turn on each other. Instead, we can live by the golden rule and love our neighbors as ourselves, or put love in action and adopt our mission at Supreme, which is to serve others before self, regardless of whether we agree on every issue. When it comes to important issues in our lives, social media is not the best place to source information. It's a place where the people who yell the loudest often garner the most attention. When you're looking for wisdom, it's most often the steady, quiet voices that have the most to offer you. I know there are a lot of voices out there telling you what you should and should not do, specifically in regards to the COVID vaccine and your health. I'd encourage you to approach this issue the same way you'd approach any other important issue and decision in life. This past month, we interviewed Coach Nick Saban from Alabama. He shared the process he implements at Alabama to deliver championship outcomes. Set a goal, create a plan to get you there, edit your behavior so you stay on track to accomplish your goal, and finally find a coach to keep you accountable to make sure you arrive at your destination. That process, well, it's applicable for far more than football. When it comes to health, set an attainable goal of what you'd like your health and fitness to look like by the end of 2021. Create a plan to get there. Edit your behavior to keep on course to achieve your goal. And finally, find a voice in your life to keep you accountable to that plan. Personally, I'm not trusting my health to CNN, to Fox News, or any other voice on social media. Instead, I found the best voice possible to give me the best advice possible. My doctor, Dr. David Rodriguez, Emory educated, decades of experience. And you know what? He advised me to get the COVID vaccine. And so I did. If you're looking for a loan, you should call a licensed loan officer with Supreme Lending. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, you should call a licensed real estate agent. Why would you get advice about your health from anyone other than your trusted family physician? Before you form your opinion and dig in and take the social media to defend it, press pause. Call your doctor and take his or her advice. If they're worth their salt, they'll also share with you that the single biggest way that you can impact your outcomes in health regarding COVID-19 well, it's not changed in the last year. It's to get in the best shape of your life and maintain a healthy body weight, eat better, and exercise regularly. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your health decisions. 
but I strongly encourage you to listen to a voice of accountability who's 100% committed to your best health. And 100% of us do need to keep our health, we need a vacation, starting with Labor Day. This is News You Can Use.